All right, hey guys, Lord Vietner here back with another Call of the Wild video. In today's video, I wanted to go over the best way that I've found to make money on the new Emerald Coast map. So if you're short on cash, uh, this is kind of my recommended route. I'm going to kind of just run through it. I'll cut out the boring parts, but I'll kind of just do a couple runs through so you can see the kind of cash we're dealing with here. So pretty much you're going to come down to this southeasternmost outpost called Meg's Retreat right here. Now, I would recommend doing this at around 7 or 8 in the morning as that will catch Bantang feed time as well as croc rest time and you'll have a lot of hours kind of following after that to kind of run up the sides of this mangrove swamp here to get a lot of crocs. There's also, you know, red deer and hog deer that'll show up as well, but mostly we're going to be looking for crocs as well as Bantang originally those are going to give us the most amount of money i think crocs are usually around 1400 dollars each that you kill so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and sleep until around 7 38 in the morning and then i'll catch up with you guys once we get started on the route all right so it is now about 7 30 in the morning as you can see i have a waypoint set i have two different bantang feed zones over here on our way to the coast and i've found that they tend to kind of hang out in the middle so that's going to kind of be the direction we're heading uh while we're walking let's go ahead and look at our loadout so i'm just going i'm running a generalist loadout for emerald coast right now but all you need is something that can take level nine animals so whether that's the 7mm the 300 338 whatever as long as you have something that can shoot seven to nine you should be fine because Crocs are 7 and I believe Bantang are 9. Not seeing, usually I get Bantang around in here. Okay, there we go. Now we got some Bantang. Let's see if we can find a big male to take down. That guy's looking good there. Ooh, saw some more creeping in the back. So these guys do travel in relatively large herds. So they're pretty easy to find. We'll go ahead and take this guy since he seems to be the only male. Fox is not happy with me tuck one in there behind the shoulder but then you'll see these guys they'll start out moving but then pretty slow so that'll be a good way to start our hunt getting some respawns i've really been farming this area for bantang i'll go and kind of run up the coast and use all the crocodile hunting pressure to kind of relieve it from here and then as you can see I've, I've gone even further north and kind of destroyed a lot of these areas to help alleviate some of the pressure in this area all right so basically if you get any bantang in here that's great if not, that's also fine. The crocs are going to be plentiful. Nice gold. Cheeky 1100 cash for us. 80% quick kill with two lung, two single lung shots with the 300. Let's go ahead and get a move on. And I'll catch up with you guys when we get into the crocs. Just kind of some general idea. Crocs are going to be a little harder to spot through these mangrove thickets. However, they hiss really loudly when you kind of come into their zone. So they will, they will make themselves known. And so all you got to do is just kind of look in that direction and they'll sit there for a little bit every time. Big track here. I've got quite a few rest zones kind of going up through here. Oh, speak of the devil. And there you go. Just like that, we got a croc. And like you can see, we're sprinting less than 100 yards from him and he's not even really freaking out. Is this guy aggressive? Oh, he is. gonna run off a couple more in just for good measure so we sneak into a lung there across the back end but yeah like i said these guys will make themselves known so we heard the one he's probably run off if you can get into a lung they die really quickly i've not really had too many problems especially in this kind of area they'll get they'll get caught up in the in the trees a lot and they don't they don't make it too far so you see, we got, a, we got a lung there at the end, and he didn't make it much further. 870, although I did ruin that, so you'll lose some cash for that. Yeah, as you saw with that first guy, we ran within 100 yards of him, and there was no issue at all. Try to get away, so. And that guy's already dead. So, you can see the 300 does work. I'm sure the 338, the new bolt action, would be really, really good for this. 7mm uh, is probably fine. If that's all you have. Yeah, this guy died almost instantly. Although we did kind of catch him through the back of the spine, so that makes sense. But yeah, cool 1400 cash as long as you don't ruin any of these bonuses. 
And then, uh, yeah, so this is just, you know, see, we walked right up in here. We've already got more of them yelling at us. So I don't know if we'll be able to see this guy. It's a female, so we're not too interested in that. They don't give as much cash, so I think we'll let her go. But as you can see, yeah, we killed the Bantang right here. We've already got a bunch of guys bothering us and just kind of heading up along this path. We'll get a lot of crocs and a lot of cash. Go ahead and pop this female just so you guys can see. Kinda. If they'll give us the cash for that. Did get a warning call over there. Actually, they're pretty good. You could probably pop females too. For the most part, I kind of just let the females get away because it's, you know, 400 less cash. But if you're really in a pinch for some cash, you probably could shoot them as well and that wouldn't cause too much of an issue. Just kind of be aware of your hunting pressure. You don't want to shoot too much in one area and delete your zones because then it'll be harder to find crocs. But they seem to space themselves out pretty well. And there's one right there. So you can, you can spot these guys well enough if you're paying attention. Also got a red deer way out there. Let's see if we can get him. Dropped him. All right, well, that works. You can see why you may want to bring another you know, class, class, lower class weapon, just in case. There are hog deer along this run as resting as well as red deer drinking so you can get a good chance to pick up a couple of those too and as you saw the running shots on the gators aren't too difficult they're not they look faster than i think that they really are there's another 1440 right there and that's just for a five i don't think i personally have gotten anything bigger we got a, got a friend And just step to the side, pop it twice, and she'll go down quickly. And as you can see, like I said, they get stuck on these roots a lot. And that kind of helps. Especially with the aggressive ones. There's another 1100 cash. Not bad at all. Female warning call. There she is. I'll leave her just for the sake of saying that I'm shooting males. But again, that's another 1000 cash if you really, if you really need it. Yeah, as we track up here, these crocs have definitely been my favorite species to hunt so far in the new map. I also like Bantang and Sambar quite a bit, but I want to know what you guys' favorite new species is on the Emerald Coast. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is, why, if it's multiple, if it's something you hunted in real life, that'd be cool. But yeah, let me know. Nice little silver there. Oh, that dropped in really low. I think we got lucky. There's, there's 1,500 cash from that guy. There we go. Oh, he's going aggressive, too. All right, we'll try to get a pot shot off on him here. So you can pretty much just let him charge your run sideways and then pop him in the lung. And they'll get stuck, and you can shoot him again in the lung. <laughs> and then it's a nice, easy... All right, there we go. Nice easy 1500, nice big level seven, very nice. But yeah, this is this is definitely one of the better ways I found, at least on this map. I'm sure if you just had a good red deer grind set up on, you know, Teoroa or Quattro, where you're just farming drink zones over and over again, that'd probably be the quickest or maybe some Ibex since those guys are like shooting fish in a barrel. But this gives you a chance to get some cash, get some get some respawns as well. And uh, also hunt the new map, which is always a good time. Oh, another aggressive one. This is the most I've ever seen go aggressive, for sure. So I'll just sidestep it, let him stop. Oh, miss your shot into the lungs. I don't think we got a vital. He will die relatively quickly, I'm sure. This guy up 900 because shot him more than twice probably a little unnecessary but again you're still getting almost a grand even if you ruin it so definitely could be worse okay so typically kind of once i get to about this area is where i'll stop not always but typically 
Uh, there's not too much going on up around here unless you're looking for other kind of just normal species like your deers or your pigs or whatnot but i do know that you can get quite a bit kind of along this shore so i'll go ahead and test that out now we'll fast travel here because maybe this could be a nice continuation of the money grind all right so we've made it to the coast and we already have our first victim i've been sprinting and i'm at 60 something yards and she doesn't seem to care at all so and get two shots in there now you're definitely going to want to try and get a follow-up shot into these guys especially with no cover this close to the coast that's probably a big no shitty mail oh we got a lot look at all these guys oh my gosh what are they all doing did any of them go aggressive okay of course the stinky level five did but yeah oh my gosh there's so many of these here all right so once you're done down here come here go straight east Take these guys on. Who's this lad over here? Nice. All right. So nice 1,380 cash for that guy. All right. So we've made it a little farther north, and we have come to another croc who is calm at about 180. Oh, he's attentive now. Let's see if we can sneak into a lung from here. Again, that should bring him down nice and quickly. And with the beach being where it is, he should kind of float back to us. Yeah. So this beach is looking pretty shallow. We might be able to walk out and get that guy. Aggressive there. What's the one behind him? That's cool looking. See if we can get this guy. Oh yeah, nice and shallow. Some more cash, but yeah, this seems like a really actually even a better way. We look like kind of like a rare color variation. So there's more out there you can see. This is a cool color variation though. Is this like leucistic or something? Piebald. Oh, that's sweet. Well, we'll definitely have to tax that. Yeah, 1300 so yeah good way to get rares too apparently i wonder what that close one is it looks small Ooh, caught him in the neck but a cool almost 1600 cash for a level seven so you can imagine if you get a couple sevens and eights every run oh, there we go we got some more bantang up there right as i uh say something they look they seem to be a little worried about the crocs now that they've spawned in to render distance <laughs> which is great just works out nicely for us, I guess. They'll be running away. I may, uh, take a pot shot at this band tank. Looks like a male. And it looks like we got into something good there. So that should bring him down. Which will be really nice for us. Because fours can make diamonds, so. I had one yesterday. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, definitely go check that out. This croc's going aggressive, but I think we'll just drop one in there. Pretty much if you can catch a vital while they're out here, you'll be totally fine. Oh, look at all these guys, man. Good grief. We'll uh, just take a pot shot at this guy. Eh, maybe we'll wait till we get closer. He's already kind of in the water. That should bring him down relatively quickly. Yeah, he's already at 0%. Hopefully he floats over here. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to wait for this guy. No, maybe not. The water's... It looks deeper than I think it actually is. We'll let this guy come in. Yep, there he is. All right. So he should come in at the same spot. That'll give us time to get the Bantang. So I'd expect this to be pretty decent gold at best is indeed he's actually not far off yeah only three off of diamond there first shot got him in the liver second one was a little too far forward that i mean that almost caught the lung there but yeah nice cool 1500 cash there as well and we're not just shooting gators so little variety in your day go ahead and grab him another cool almost 1500 
But yeah, by the time we're done with this, just kind of run up. As you can see, it's an hour, not even two hours in game time. And we've done all of this. We're already starting to remove the hunting pressure. We've come all the way up here and we've got another croc, or yeah, croc up here. This north area is definitely going to be a little bit riskier for sure. As far as really making your shots count. Get into vital. Gonna ruin a little bit of that cash by shooting him too many times, but I think we were able to get a vital hit there kind of towards the end. I mean, I don't know. We we shot him more than twice and still got almost 1,200 cash. I'm really not sure how that works at all, but something. so she turns a little bit. Should be able to get into a long Right when they turn as well, you can usually get a shot in. So we definitely did get into good stuff on that first shot. Probably should have. Oh. Alright, well, don't shoot the females unless they do this to you. What you do is walk sideways, so she'll stop. Three shot. Three shots into the lungs there. Oof. Caught us, but yeah, if, if they go aggressive, they're really easy to kill because all you got to do is walk sideways and they don't know what to do. So, 100% quick kill there, 1100 cash. Right, that should bring him down. Nice gold, 1500 cash in the bank. Yeah, this will probably be the last kill of the run. Again, we've we've made it over almost four kilometers. So you just kind of actually well over four kilometers. Start at this southeast outpost. If you don't like the mangrove forest, obviously, look, we've had great success coming up here. So you can start at the Jakewood Cottage here in Waringa Pass and just run north. Just be aware that if you're not hunting in here, it's going to be hard to get the hunting pressure gone here. But really really easy way to make a lot of money so we'll go ahead and grab this guy i'll grab two more that i did not get earlier we'll update the total money counter and the i will let you know how long i was actually hunting for as of right now i've been recording for about 40 minutes which is not bad but i've also spent a lot of time talking go ahead and grab those guys and i'll see you guys in a bit All right, guys, so all in all, we did just under $30,000 in hunt cash from all of the animals that we shot totaled up. The total hunt time took me about 40 minutes, but if you got efficient at this, you could definitely do it much quicker, I think in half an hour or less, especially if you weren't fooling around and trying to talk over the whole thing like I was. So as of right now, we're looking at about 750 cash per minute while you're doing this which is overall pretty efficient and it's super simple these animals are easy to spot it's a nice simple run clean up the eastern seaboard here on emerald coast if you guys did enjoy today's video be sure to drop a like down below subscribe for monster hunter or more call of the wild if you're interested in something like that i'm not sure how much content i'll continue to put out on this game however i really love this game and it's one of my most played so i'll definitely continue playing it if you want to see more content, let me know what you'd like to see down below in the comments. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.